Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Who is Mike? Oh, oh, I should have stretched before I got up. It is so early and so cold, which is why I'm huddled over like I'm dying, because I am. I just got up and turned on the heater and all this stuff, and I had to put on a sweater because it's too damn cold today. Ugh, you'd think it was November or something. Anyways, uh, when we last left off, I found an ending and got shot by my girlfriend, just like real life. So now, we're going to see if we can avoid that. Um, exclamation point, started to exist, is it just me, am I getting the feeling I'm the odd one out, dot 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 dot, it's everywhere, we're just trying to help, probably a victim too, what is this, you both agree on the freight, fake, this is about the time when I started freaking out and I decided to just beat up this guy, we found out that he is the ghost of Christmas past. Actually, we're not quite there yet. Keep your Christmas to yourself. Uh, you're the stranger who barged into the house. I did that, but blah, doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. No, you don't make sense. My chest felt heavy at Sarah's words. This can't be happening. Everything is turning against me, even Sarah. But, but what do you want me to say? I already told you everything. Yesterday I went to work, I came home, dozed off from the TV. I know I don't have a very exciting life, but you shouldn't just shut me out because another me appeared. Uh, how'd you get here? Did you take the bus? Unicorns? Rainbows? Facts, Mike! Facts! I need to know the facts. Guys, calm down, said the ghost. Seeing the two of you fight is just freaky. Dot, dot, dot. I really can't. Re I really can't remember, okay? If I could, I have no reason to hide it. It's, I've been nothing but honest since I got here. That's true. We did a truth run. Because honesty is always the best policy. Maybe he has selective amnesia. Maybe you're a douche. Did you ever think of that? Huh? That is not a reason, just an excuse. I, I, know. I know I'm Mike. Please, believe me. Please, baby, baby, baby. A clone. That's I. You wouldn't know any better. Dot, dot, dot. A, 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 a clone? Was that possible? Am I disillusioned? Am I just trying to be Mike? <laughs> Sarah, please! Da, da, da. Oh, I'm sorry! I just can't love a clone! I've never felt so alone. Fear surged in my blood. It turned into betrayal and anger. I think this is the part where I flipped out and just beat the crap out of uh, the ghost guy. All right, and then found out he actually was a ghost. How could Sarah let me down? I need her the most right now. But she wouldn't listen to anything beyond her theories. How right could she be anyways? This was just a matter of choice and opinion. And the truth was as sharp as it was simple. Was Waka waka! It was just too early. She just chose not to believe. Me! My teeth gritted. I thought I could count on you, Sarah. I thought you wouldn't let me down. Don't say that! You know how hard this is for me! Oh yeah, I'm having a ball! Look! Alright, there's champagne and dancing, and I got this new dress. Wait a minute. Stop villainizing me, Mike! I've done what you asked! Actually, all you did was use this situation to your own selfish desires. You know, you asked about cooking and whether or not you were trying to find out whether or not I was cheating on you. With our really stupid neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. So you haven't really asked a whole lot of questions about yours truly. You know, trying to figure out your identity. You've just been mostly selfish. No, you didn't. See, I agree with me. You just jumped to conclusions and refused to listen to me. You said one night of trivia questions wouldn't be enough. But you turn around and just like that accuse me of hiding something. Dot, dot, dot. That's not fair. Fair? Fair? Right. That sounds rich coming from you. Mike, stop. You're hurting her. Aha! The whole ghosty, sneaky, douchey thing. Now he's trying to get on her side. I know nothing about this is easy, but I think you have to take a step back. Da, 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 da
We'll help you, okay? But the way things are going, emotions are running really high. We should all take a breather from this. Why don't you just come by again tomorrow and we'll figure it out? What? Daisy. What? Okay. You want me to leave? No. Well, yes he does. I'll leave too if you want. Shut up! You're just trying to get rid of me again? I didn't mean it like that. It's just, I didn't... Okay. This is where we were last time. I would have picked up right here, but I thought we needed a little bit more context coming back in. Oh, that's just juice, I swear. But instead of attacking, even though that was kind of satisfying, except for the part where we got shot, um, we're going to calm down this time. It was difficult, but I managed to quell my emotions and get under control. Hum. Hum. Namaste. My face was flushed. My head throbbed and my vision spun. Am I drunk? Oh, there was beer involved, wasn't there? And plus, I got hit over the head with a bat. But a few deep breaths in, and I began to compose myself. I looked at Mike. And Sarah, the atmosphere in the house was tense and palpable. The uneasiness warmed its way into my heart. It was bringing out the worst in me. I couldn't stay. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my god, the music picked up. Alright, I get it. I'll leave. Sarah's face twitched. There was a ghost of concern on her face. There's a ghost right next to her! You... You don't really have to. Concern, yes, but there was also a coldness in her eyes that broke my heart. Ah. Shallow charity was the most she can give the man with her boyfriend's face. Yeah, it's an odd way to phrase that. It was that distant feeling you have for a tragic accident on the morning paper. It was kind of dark. I couldn't bear to see her look at me like that. I shook my head. You dirty bitch. No, I'll leave. There's a motel and taxi right away with my name on it. Let me just bump some cash and I'm good to go. I gave out a bit of a forced laughter to hide the regret in my voice. Now that I've said it, I wish I didn't. Let Sarah insist. Please! Come on, baby! Pick up the slack here. Realize what's going on. Just one more time. Let her say I can stay. One more time. But she didn't. Damn. Ripped Mike. And maybe it was just as well. I mean, she's gonna pick a ghost over me. It's better for all of us. I sighed with finality. Mike. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, um... If it will make any difference, I'll leave too. What's your game plan here, Ghost Mike? Hmm? Hmm? Why are you leaving now? Don't you want to stay to do whatever ghost stuff to my girlfriend? Whatever your plan was. Murder her, I assume? Maybe it's fairer that way? Can't you see he is just playing off me? Therefore, he is the fake? Like, whatever I decide to do, he just plays off of. copy, like a reflection in the mirror. I offered him a bitter smile. Oh, the bitterest of smiles. Mm. I wouldn't leave Sarah alone after this, and neither should you. That's my point! Right there! That right there should be the proof that I'm a real one. Alright? Just keep an eye on her tonight, alright? Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Hey. Try to get some rest. Your ghostly concern is not needed, sir. All 
Well, it'll get better tomorrow after I've murdered your girlfriend. Thanks. I needed time to think. Gather my thoughts to make sense of the situation. Maybe they were right. Those couple of hours that my memory missed might hold the key to unlocking the mystery. Tomorrow, I'll find out. As I pass by a store window, I notice my reflection. What? I am awfully pale. And I have deep bags under my eyes. What's happening? Am I losing my soul because I lost the house? Was it just me? Or did I look suddenly thinner? A sharp pain squeezed my heart as the thought crossed my mind. My chest heaved in erratic rhythms and dizzying bursts. Oh god, what happened? My legs buckled from the pain. What? Oh god, blood dripped from my nose. What? Something was happening to me. I have to get back. I shouldn't have left. Sarah! But already my vision undulated and knocked me off my feet. Sarah, I need to find somebody to help me. H help me! Sarah! Sarah! Her name appeared in my mind over and over again. I didn't know why. It was like I wanted to desperately cling to it. Keep hope alive, man! I looked around. Ambulance! EMT! Sarah! Anybody! Dot dot dot! Where am I? Why? Why can't I remember how I got here? Oh god! <laughs> my chest. It hurts. Someone get me an Advil. Difficult to breathe. Sarah. Sarah! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, red screen. In five, the innocent. I guess apparently truth is not the best policy. At least in the other ending, uh, I got to beat up the ghost. But it seems like I'm being actively encouraged to lie, if not flip out, because we went through and we just tried to be honest, and, uh, I mean, we died both times. One by the hands of our girlfriend, the other time by a curse? Am I cursed now? What do you mean I can't leave the house? How'd the ghost kill me? I have so many questions. I don't even understand that death. So I guess I'll just have to keep playing and do another video. Maybe I'll go from the start and try making other decisions and stuff like that. But either way, we got a second ending in 5, The Innocent. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.